What's up everybody? Wonder Tweak here back with some more Life is Strange and we are on the very last episode. Episode 5, uh, Polarized. Goodness, I can tell you that this game has been probably one of the most like nerve-wracking emotional games that I've played. Just... I don't I don't even know. Like it's it's just been a crazy like emotional roller coaster for me. But yeah, I'm excited to see what this last episode is. Um when we played episode 4, we found out so many different things. We found um the bunker which I thought was freaking David's and it turned out to be uh Mr. Jefferson. So Mr. Jefferson ended up drugging us and shooting Chloe in the head, which I am so pissed off about. They better bring Chloe back to life or I'm gonna rage. <laughs> um, another thing we found out was that Rachel is dead. So I, I don't think we're gonna be able to bring her back because who knows how long she's been dead. We didn't even know the girl, so yeah. Just Chloe was like super heartbroken about it. She just didn't care about anything. It seemed like she wanted to die just because of, you know, Rachel is her everything, basically. <sighs> so yeah, anyways, this is the last episode. I'm super excited to play, and yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> it feels weird that way. You have to wear it a specific way. It feels like there's so much weight leaning on that side. Previously on Life is Strange. I don't know. I'm weird. Whoa! What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! I don't know if the audio is kind of like... <gasps> off or if it's just I'm my sorry, headphones. Chloe. I'm so sorry. Like it keeps kind of shutting off. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. This is where we left off on the last How? episode. What the fuck? Scary. You. His glasses kind of look like mine. Not really. Mine are better.
It's like the audio is all jacked up or if it's just my headphones. I guess we don't detach our arm. God, I don't remember anything that happened. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. <sighs> I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. You. Oh. It sounds so gross. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity. Posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Jesus. Stay still! Shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Ugh, creep. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room... Is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed. that Nathan killed her in self defense. Wow. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, 
People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Oh my god. Broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Whoa. Go get the trolley. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Wait, let me look. No. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where... where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help. Oh, and he was man. It's so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. We're both here, okay? I just can't believe this is happening. 
Matt Jefferson would do this to me. <laughs> to us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. This might work. Please work. I don't like that. That voice creeps me out. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. Mm -hmm. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Mm. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. You didn't care about him. You're wrong again. He was genuinely talented, and his father is a serious asshole, as you might know. I know. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. Ugh. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to it's hear. It's getting cold. In return. I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Hmm. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. I'm not gonna get Frank involved. He might kill Frank, too. 
Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. Ugh. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. Oh my God. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision. This guy is butchering amateurs. everyone. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. That was my mom texting me. She's at work. Sorry. This is not art. This is purity personified. <laughs> Max. No, I don't like I that wish one. you could see yourself now. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, this sorry, sorry. Focus, but that's my fault, Max. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay. Let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera Wait, is so back. appealing. You don't need a computer. Get your bony ass white back over here. Wait! Your bony white Please. ass. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. My diary. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to need it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. Thank you. You can do so much better. Say adios, motherfucker. With a heart it's going down. This bitch is going down. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Mm. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started Max, this insane Max, week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Chloe's been alive! Oh my god. Since the year oh 1800s. God. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. Thank you, Jesus. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell
tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Who cares? I mean, honestly, if I was in this girl's situation, I would be the biggest bitch ever to this teacher. Fuck you, asshole. Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that. I said it. I'll let you try to answer one more. Sorry, I said it. there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. I don't know what I did. Clearly. I hope I'm still recording. Max doesn't have the uh, time. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes come. to change time. The winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I can care Faster. less. Okay. I didn't know if I was like still recording or not. Um, bag search. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Do I have to remember this number? I should take a picture just in case. Okay. For once, David. David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson... You'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Mm -hmm. um. I didn't read any of these. Okay. Uh... Or that one. Um. Okay, I guess I'll start right here. Okay, he shouldn't have pulled the knife on Chloe, though I didn't like that he sells all those dangerous mess to teenagers, especially Nathan. He needs psychiatric supervision, not baggy appeals. At least he won't be going to Frank again. I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, and I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't let left town, I'd be less judgmental, but now I have Nathan's phone, David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clue. Which brings us closer to finding Rachel Amber, finally. So maybe the tide is hot, is finally turning, or time is finally turning. Okay, I think that's the last part I left off. This is the moment where the clues come together and we finally have a location out of town that may lead us straight to Rachel Amber and beyond. After everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe to keep going forward with me since I do feel we're at the end of the road. Hopefully not the end of the world, but whatever. Anger... But whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her balls and bravery. Yes, Chloe has gotten me nearly killed, but I know she would die for me. I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair to slowly die in another reality. And Chloe is more focused now than ever before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what, and I couldn't find Rachel on my own. That was enough. Now it's time to shine the light into the dark room. Bum bum bum. Chloe and I loaded up our coordinates and hit the road. We were both quiet yet excited. It's hard to explain that feeling. Even with all the horrible things happening, I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were part of some greater mystery that involved time, space, and our fate. 
I've never had much faith, not the, okay, blah, 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 blah. not the Kate Marsh kind anyway, but I couldn't believe we were being set up in the dorm after, set up for doom after everything that's happening this week, but I wasn't prepared for the dark room. <sighs> okay. The coordinates led us to the old abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family, and I should have, shouldn't have should have been surprised that it was actually housing a weird secure bunker that was filled with Prescott memorabilia and worse. If there was an evil ground zero, this place was it. Cupboards filled with named red, bi named red binders that confirmed our worst nightmares. Not that I had even had a clue that our amateur detective work would, ha lead, us would lead us to the kind of professional hell. When I saw the binder ma marked Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. Then I had a real clue about what was coming. I don't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh posed unconscious with that motherfucker Nathan Prescott. She did know the truth about what happened to her even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. And the Rachel Amber... And then Rachel Amber. Delicately... Delicately composed photographers of her drugged all over Nathan like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos of her abused angel. I felt nauseated. All the hope I was feeding Chloe felt like the viper. And then we saw exactly where Nathan had taken these vicious layouts with poor Rachel in the junkyard. We finally found Rachel Amber dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry, William. Fuck you, Arcadia Bay. High school should be the best years of your lives. I've heard over and over from my parents telling... From my parents and other experts. Fuck do they know. Tell that to Rachel and Amber or Kate. I've never seen Chloe so cold and hard. She wouldn't let go of the gun. So we have to find Nathan before Chloe kills him. And if that happens, it won't be hard. It will be harder to whine. But we're as close to the end of this nightmare as possible, so I have to black out those images of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber that will be burned into my retinas forever. There's still a final secret to uncover and nothing is going to stop us now. Not even the damn tornado. Chloe and I pulled up to the Blackwell's parking lot and arrived at the end of the world party. Oh, the irony. We had to get rid of the poor William. <laughs> we had to get rid of poor Warren fast who wanted to bask in his alpha glory and hang out with Chloe and me. I can't put another one of my friends in danger. So bizarro to see all the students dressed up in expensive outfits for or pre-Halloween costumes. Talking and laughing and smoking and drinking as if it was... If this wasn't a surreal killer going to the same party or the town wasn't in eco danger. As if to remind me of Arcadia's base ticking time dune clock, I actually saw two moons in the sky over the horizon or or that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and I actually rubbed my eyes like a dork just to make sure my eye my iris wasn't foggy. This was another sign to of the environmental illusion. This was another sign or an environmental illusion. Other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything because ven besides vengeance. So she went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. Nathan doesn't know that he's running out of time too. No irony intended. We are. My first and last Vortex Club party, flashing lights and DJ Doom, no comment, spinning. In an alternate reality, I might have been at this party standing in the corner, shy and nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance, but being terrified if that happened. And that would have been the limits of my problems. Now look at me. But I had to find Chloe first, then Nathan, before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she actually, she's actually just a terribly insecure person with talent, passion, and the tendency to be a cruel dick for no reason. I have to see beyond our petty mean girl drama and assume she was in a role to play in all of this too. So we talked like human beings and I warned her without specifics about Nathan. She believed me it felt so warm to make a connection with the, my previous enemy. A, silver of, a sliver of light in all the darkness. Let there be more. October 11th, I guess. I watched Chloe die again. Killed my favorite teacher killed by my favorite teacher. Why? Because we were stupid and let Jefferson trick us in the phony text. So we ended up back at the junkyard and fell right into his traps. We should have called the police the second we found Rachel, but I had gone along too 
far with Chloe. I kept thinking I'm invisible, invincible, that I'm a real everyday superhero, but no, I'm just Max Caulfield. They should have really gone to the police. Like, I don't know why they didn't in the first place. Maybe all of my powers are an accident of... Maybe all of my powers are an accident of fate. Or am I just being punished like Chloe? What have we done to deserve all this pain? What did Rachel do? Kate, William. Then there's Mark Jefferson. I can't ever call him Mr. again. I'm still shocked that he turned out to be the one hiding behind the dark room. But if I think back on those pieces of time, Jefferson has been dropping hints all along. It makes me sick to think how long he's been doing this for and to whom. Jesus Christ. The needle. I can still feel that needle on my skin. Thank God I can't remember Jefferson posing me for the for most of his sixth session. Imagine all those other people who had suffered through that horror, like Rachel and Kate. That made me determine to get out of that room, at least to stop him and save Chloe. I had to use my focus for one on multiple photos so often that I even got confused. Worse, still I know that screwing around with with various realities again but i had no other choice chloe would not die in a junkyard next to rachel amber and there was no fucking way i was going to let jefferson be the last person i ever saw it's hard to even imagine myself in the studio alone with jefferson acting like that everything was so neat and sterile but it felt like the filthiest place on earth if i didn't have the ability to bend time what would i have done what could I have done? Sometimes I felt removed like I was looking at myself going through this hell. But thanks to Jefferson's class photo, he he personally helped me to escape. I also feel so terrible that Victoria had to end up in here with me just because I warned her about Nathan. I should have known that she would rush to Jefferson for protection and said he kidnapped her and almost murdered her because of me. I'll never forget the way Jefferson looked at me, so cold at me, and I felt like I was on one of those awful two, true crime shows my mom binge watches. How could, how does someone become evil? He actually shot Chloe in the head just like that, motherfucker. I wish the police had taken Nathan in after I told Principal Wells what he, when he, that he drugged Kate. He might still be alive and maybe he would have taken down Jefferson too. It's <sighs> a lot going on. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. How does she have time to write in her journal when she's like locked, like captured Hi, and Kate. stuff? Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max? That makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I got you, girl. I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Mm-hmm. Aw. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Fuck you and fuck you. Actually, Mr. just Jefferson, fuck you. We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Shut Jefferson up. now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? <laughs> I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I, I didn't- You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. Mm, that's sure. okay, too. Yatch. <laughs> that was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh. 
that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for it. any artist is to put themselves mm -hmm. out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. You're or sick. guilty. Uh, oh, God. Well, and thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or just or maybe me. Maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Sicko. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. Are we safe up here with the I storm hope I coming? Did right this time. A big tornado is going to wipe us out of the sky. Good work, David. Didn't fix well, everything. Sir. That's too obvious. Something bad's gonna happen again. We're gonna get whooshed out of the sky. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. Now y'all are kissing and shit. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. A drug kidnap and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shock waves through the Trinkle City of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio is located. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers Descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber. Well, I kind of read that backward. That's how you know I don't, um, read the newspaper. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. There's too much, there's too much fucked up shit that's going on in our world right now. I don't bother to watch the news or read the newspaper. I just... It's so weird to be in between realities. Watch music videos all the time. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Shut off your phone. 
Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a final few destination. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats wow, wow, get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, yep, see? Oh, Christ. It's not over. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. <laughs> that, that feeling of like... Feeling like a little oh, kid so Max. when you're like around adults. I had a similar feeling like that before. Although I was already pretty old when this happened. I was like years ago I think that I uh, revisited my high school I graduated in uh, 2012 so I went back with some of my friends and we um, went to go see my advisor and um, my advisor husband he's just like hey you guys are all of age now would you guys like a beer and me and my friends just look at us like we look at each other we're just like um where are, we, are we gonna get in trouble like we were like 20 20 three I think and we were all like afraid of getting in trouble but yeah it was, it was just funny that it felt weird because they asked us if we wanted like to drink with them and everything I was just like whoa and when we were in high school we were trying to hide the fact that we were drinking um around them and stuff but they they never they never found that out but yeah it, I don't know it was just funny that they had that they had asked us that you did it Somehow, I went from the dark room to this gallery. 
I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is strange. Weird. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. I guess I was born on a Bart train, the really amazing story. Okay, I don't want to read that. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must be really claustrophobic. Holy shit. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But mm -hmm. what would I wear? How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. You kind of forgot about Warren. I love how much cool art is going on all over. Some mysteries should stay that way. I need to drop some serious cash in there. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. I never thought I'd get to speak to- well, Good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. There I am, no. along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. It's great to read all these comments, even the mean ones. So inspiring, not as good as last year. Totally make me want to take like, photos. Take photos of future photography starts here. The heroes choose a path. To Stuff. I would love to have this on a shelf someday. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Look at this print. Like, I do not understand art. <laughs> Ooh, let's get it. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. I know it's kind of simple, but... So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. Lucky. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. Duh. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Duh. It's not your fault. You didn't know what really happened. I know, but that's not a good excuse for a principal. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. Uh -huh. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, it looks like he's about girls. to cry. I hope he cries. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. Oh, and shit. And Sean Prescott is Nathan's now under alive. serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Mm-hmm. Now if we can just 
figure out what's going on with the weather. Maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, eh. at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. That's another thing I hate when people say that. Like teachers or like someone who I've called like Mr. or Mrs. for like a long time. And they say call them by their first name. I'm like, ew, no, I can't. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. Man. Hi, man. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. He sounds like Nathan. Nice. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. Oh my god. All the pictures say a lot about our time. I times. guess everybody is a photographer Bravo. now. Um, hey, I love your shot. Always get so inspired. This makes me feel I'm so here. sad. Like I was back in high school. <laughs> Usually these kind of contests, they they put me to sleep. But I like how this show. How do these galleries? God, I love art. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Oh, there's ours. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Shit. We lost uh, you there for a second. No. I'm okay. Uh, no, she's gonna life. die again. High altitude. From the tornado. Oh my goodness. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, the can you hear me? Hello? Fuck. Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. We should have just brought Chloe with us. There has to be a way to stop this. We could have paid for, for it. I have to go back to talk to the principal, maybe tell him we gotta get the F out of here. Or not. No fucking way. Chloe can't. We have to again. go back in time. I have to save her. Go, bad go, exposure, go. Bad I knew it. Let's do it. Excuse me. Oh, what the hell? I'd love to ask you. you scared me. Fuck work. off. Sorry, but Why can't I get this? Why can't I get this? Well, with how many times you've gone back in what time, What am I doing yeah. the time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. 
simple. Tear. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Oh no. Oh no. Ew. Goodness. Oh fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Yeah. Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer Kick him in the my balls. question, please. Eat shit and die. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. You should have said fuck you. Kind of oh, like both choices. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her- Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh God. Oh, as if you care. Now he killed her too. This freaking guy, dude. Nathan, Chloe, Rachel, Victoria. Your iris. That. Oh my God. Shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. Oh man! I got a little carried away. Fuck! He, he burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still you. here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird going on with you. Whoa! Did you see how crazy it is outside? said something weird there's that fear oh, Max it's an honor working with you on these final sessions you he I sounds so creepy these images will be appreciated it. for what they truly capture the loss of youth <laughs> at least that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. Oh, I think that was on our little cutscene at the end of the last episode. I promise. No! This final Get the dose fuck away from me! Ugh. What? Oh shit. Damn! <laughs> Kick his ass, David! <laughs> no, David! No! Or not. <laughs> Jesus. David Madsen! He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. 
Get the fuck away from me! Bless you. No more nosebleed. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Mm. Play music so he Could won't hear the please sound. At least play some music so I can drift away. Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. Oh God! Hold it! What? Okay, so music didn't work. Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. David, get your what? ass in here! David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oh god! Okay, maybe that's not... Oh shit. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun, no ball. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh, man. David Madsen, of course. It's over. You are not Grab going to now. stop me. Got it. Oh, shit. It's over. You are David, not going to stop table. me. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Oh shit! David Madsen! <laughs> it's over! Grab that bottle! Why are you waiting there, dude? Oh. Jefferson, it's over! Kick his ass, David! Oh lord, Max. Oh goodness. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. No, thank me. You brought me here. Let's Kick wrap his up ass, this David. Bitch Even more. First. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! Oh shit, Chloe's I still dead again. picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore.
Good God. It's a studio. I... Jefferson looks so... pathetic now. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. It is. Jefferson was... was gonna kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. Did you? Did you really? Seems like I you expected did. everybody else except for him. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. All these people are saying this stuff after they've already like done the bad shit that they already done. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I regret nothing. I had all the high-tech toys, well... You had each other. We... We are a great team. That's one of Word. my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like, except Joyce. She gave me hope, a new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she, she would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. Oh, no. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> He deserves to know the truth, but I have a feeling he's gonna tell Joyce and Joyce is gonna flip out. But they deserve to know the truth. I'm not gonna hide something like that. David. Uh, Chloe is... is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. 
I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! That he loved her? You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! Oh shit. David, wait! Fuck. Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. I... Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, I... thank you for saving me. Jefferson is dead now, but I can still bring Chloe back to life. That's so sad. That photo you took last night in the parking lot. Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm's getting smaller. It's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. striking us down and I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station somebody get me the hell out of here now now god damn it how I pay all those taxes you have one new message message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max it's, it's Nathan I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. 
<laughs> Mr. Jefferson, he's coming for me now. All this shit be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Uh -huh. Nathan. He's not so sad. Like, he just doesn't know what's going on in his world. Alright guys, I know this is an awkward place to stop, but we're gonna stop right here. Oh man, I didn't like that that part of the episode. The one thing the one thing that I like about this game is how it focuses like on uh real life events. I I'm not too sure about the as far as the apocalypse. But as like when it comes to like the missing girls and what like people do and it's not it's not a big thing with people they don't think about what is happening to these missing people or if anything's happening at all you know like stuff like this if there's a missing girl they don't go into detail about it so that's what i kind of like about this game you know it just focuses on like real life events yeah anyways um so we're gonna stop right here i hope you liked the video uh if you liked it like comment and subscribe we have we're we have one more part after this which is gonna be my part two for my episode five and we are will be completely finished with this game so yeah i hope you liked it um yeah i'll catch you guys next video